What's up guys? Uh, came in here today to do some shed hunting. This is actually a place that I used to uh, deer hunt quite a bit, but kind of lost permission to it um, probably 10 years ago or so. And then a logging company recently bought this piece of property. And I know the owner of that logging company, so just by chance happened to get permission to be back on here. And uh, it's just kind of weird being back in here and looking to see what all's changed after the logging company came through. Uh, just completely changed this whole track, this whole piece of land. So gonna tromp around through here today and try to find some sheds and we'll see what happens here and start walking around. So I arrowed probably the biggest buck of my life in this field when I was 17 years old. Uh, this field's all kind of grown up now, but it used to be a decent food plot. But I was set up over in this area and it was right, right during the rut, right before shotgun season. A doe came running down from this area and probably 20 seconds probably 20 seconds behind her was a little small buck and then right behind the small buck was just an absolute stud of a buck probably I'm gonna guess 170 range 160 170 range but just had a lot of cool trash a lot of cool kickers so anyway they come running down through this area right here I'm set up over in there just full sprint I start grunting real hard trying to get them to stop. They don't pay any attention to that whatsoever. So I immediately grab my rattling horns and just clash them together as hard as I can. I probably start whenever he's in this area and I'm back up here. So I'm thinking there's a pretty good chance he's not gonna stop because he's on that hot dough. But he was just in one of those moods and he just chalked up, put both of his front feet in the dirt hair on his back was standing up he turned went through this trail right here circled around gave me just the perfect ideal 20 yard broadside shot i felt super confident in the shot um but being young and dumb and no patience i gave it probably five minutes jumped down out of my tree stand and just immediately started tracking that thing Really good blood for probably 60 yards, maybe, maybe less than that. And all of a sudden it just starts dwindling down, dwindling down. Everybody knows how that goes, or at least most of you do. Um, but anyway, I searched for probably a week and a half looking for that thing. Never did see buzzards or any sign that he would have died, but man. I just felt so confident in that shot, but that just tells you it doesn't matter what you feel. No reason to rush it. It was a morning hunt, so I had all day. Should have went home, grabbed some lunch, and came back. But you live and learn. I do it differently now.
craziest thing just happened. Just got done walking in this woods probably, I don't know, an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Got back to the truck here. When I got here, I just parked and walked straight in the pines over here, right there. So, so I'm getting back to the truck and figured I'd take one quick look back to this field here. And I happened to glass over, I don't know if you can see it very well, using my GoPro here, but there's a cedar right over in this area. So I glassed over there and I'm pretty confident that there's uh, an antler over there. So <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Um, make sure and always take your binoculars with you. So let's walk over, take a look and see what the antler looks like. So I use these binos probably 10 times while I was in the timber. Just happy that I pulled them up one last time and took a look over here. I don't know if you can see it right in this area. The GoPro is not going to pick it up very well, but right here. Look at that, it's a set, holy cow. Wow. Not real big, but man, I hardly ever find matching pair. And look at that, what are we, foot away here? Trucks parked over there. That's awesome. Little brow tying kind of chipped off one side of it. Be a nice buck in a couple of years. Pretty awesome. That's worth all that walking for sure. Nice little matching set. That's just pretty cool. Gets me fired up. I'm probably done for the day, but uh, definitely just getting started for the year. Make sure and subscribe follow along stay tuned for more appreciate you guys watching happy hunting be safe see ya